back to our course. In this video lesson, you will learn what exactly is a waste bank, history of the development of waste bank system, what benefits can the waste bank system provide to individuals, communities, and countries, and why they are an appropriate approach to implement 3 or recycling in developing countries. Waste bank is a community-based waste management strategy to convert waste to wealth. The basic idea of a waste bank is that it works like having a savings account in an actual bank. In a conventional bank, people become customers by opening a savings account. Customers then bring their money to the bank and make deposits to their savings account. Each deposit is registered and the customer's money accumulates in the bank savings account and it's available for the customer to withdraw. Similarly, customers also have a money savings account in the waste bank. But instead of bringing money to make deposit, customers bring recyclable waste to the waste bank to make a deposit. What gets added to their savings account is the monetary value of the waste they bring. The waste bank then sells the waste to recycling companies and uses the fund it obtains in this way to put money in the savings account of its customers and to pay for its operating costs. The waste bank concept is easy to understand because most people are familiar with the simple savings account in the bank. Waste bank incentivizes people to recycle by paying them for their deposit waste in the money in the savings account that grows over time. Waste bank aims to make the process as convenient and easy as possible. They set up near the customers inside the community or in places frequented by the customers, like their workplace or school. As an example, let's look at the Bina Lingkum Waste Bank in the Indonesian city of Surabaya. The community people bring their separated clean waste to the waste bank. The waste bank team weighs the waste and pays its value to the waste bank customer. The waste is then prepared, stored, and eventually sold to a buyer. Kan, tidak anu sih pak, tidak bodoh istilahnya kan itu cuma luru, cuma mengumpulkan itu. Senangnya di situ ada yang mengumpulkan kan lebih enak begini ada bank sampah daripada di rumah sendiri. Make a note of Bina Lingkungan West Bank in the Indonesian city of Surabaya. We will be coming back to this case throughout the course, and we will also introduce other exciting cases of waste banks in Indonesia. Waste banks were first tried out in the early 2000s in schools in Thailand. But Indonesia is the country where the waste bank system took root and grew. Two events prompted a strategic shift in Indonesia to waste management efforts. In 2001, the overwhelming stench of Surabaya's single gleaming landfill prompted public protests and a city-wide waste management crisis after its closure. Similarly, in Indonesia's third largest city of Bandung, heavy rains and poor operating practices in 2005 triggered the collapse of a major dump site on the adjacent village of waste pickers resulting in nearly 150 deaths and one of the deadliest waste slides ever recorded. Public discontent in the aftermath of this disaster galvanized a sense of urgency to replace open dumps with legally mandated sanitary landfills. However, limited city budgets and technical capacity and a lack of identified alternatives to stem the expansion of temporary dump sites prevented widespread action. In this context, the national government passed the Solid Waste Management Act of 2008, which prioritized reducing waste rather than merely collecting garbage. Indonesia's Solid Waste Management Act of 2008 brought institutional support for developing waste bank since they were a proven system to reduce waste at the source. Since then, several laws and policies in Indonesia have strongly supported the development of waste banks across the country 
and now they are more than 8,000 nationwide. The extent of government recognition of the West Bank system in its policy and law is what makes Indonesia unique. It is in great part responsible for the significant expansion of the West Bank system in the country. Attracted by the success in Indonesia, the West Bank system has been adopted by other countries. West banks can provide numerous benefits to individuals, communities, and cities. For cities in developing countries, often operating the waste management system beyond capacity, waste banks decrease the quantity of waste that needs to be managed, treating it right at the source. Significantly less volume of waste needs to be disposed of in landfills. It also decreases waste management costs for cities and simplifies waste management logistics. Since the separation of recyclable materials is done at the source, there is no need for costly waste separation and operating costs like in large waste recovery facilities. Waste banks also provide the benefit of a cleaner environment, as less waste is burned or discharged into nature. The benefit of the waste bank is not only for purpose of the economy, but other than that, we also need to encourage the community try to uh, clean off their environment because with the clean of the environment, we can uh, live healthily and also we can live in very decent uh, uh, area, a very good area. So it's why then it will be very, very uh, wonderful if the community know about the benefit of the waste bank, not only for the uh, money, but also for the uh, clean of the environment. For individual customers, waste banks provide the direct benefit of an additional income from the sale of the recyclable materials, strengthening the circular economy. Sepertinya, uh, setelah saya tahu bank sampah ini banyak membantu warga ya, khususnya ibu-ibu ya, karena sampah itu kan yang tadinya itu cuma dibuang begitu aja kan kalau kita kumpulin dan dipilah-pilah kan bisa dijadikan uang gitu kan sangat membantu untuk perekonomian ibu-ibu itu sendiri menurut saya bank sampah itu ya ada faedahnya pak bisa nabung botol itu sampah ndak keleleran ya bisa dikumpulkan kita itu bisa bermasyarakat bisa kumpul setiap bulan orang-orang itu kalau sudah kumpul seperti kemarin kan rame pak kalau sampah itu gitu rencana saya ya itu pak saya ambil tidak tahu nanti kebutuhan anak saya itu pak diambil uang cash ya diambil uang cash kalau ibu-ibu ingin rekreasi nanti ya dibagi pak nanti sewanya habis berapa Ibu-ibu nanti kan ada kembaliannya hmm. biar buat sangu gitu. Ini rencananya ibu-ibu sini pengin lencer pak. Memang ibu-ibu sini tidak pernah lencer, tidak pernah rekreasi. Most West banks also provide additional direct economic benefits to their customers. For example, free medical service. Some West banks have come up with very ingenious ways to provide value to their customers. For example, the West Bank in the Nature School of Lampung pays its kids customers with stationery and other goods. Ya, setelah sampai bank sampah, mereka akan uh, menimbang sampahnya, ya, kemudian mencatat samp uh, berat sampahnya itu berdasarkan pengelompokan uh, jenis sampahnya di buku tabungan. Kemudian mereka uh, memilah sampahnya, kemudian meletakkan pada box-box uh, yang sudah disediakan. Uh, tabung, buku tabungannya itu kemudian akan direkap selama satu tahun. Setelah itu bisa ditukar dengan uang atau barang. Itu. The Central West Bank in Surabaya also offered the alternative to pay electricity bills based on a partnership with the electric power company. Pada prinsipnya kalau di kita itu mereka di apa sampah yang kita terima itu kita tukarkan dengan uang 
pada prinsipnya di situ. Tapi ada beberapa eh, apa layanan lain ya kalau di kita ada bisa eh, tabungannya itu bisa ditukarkan dengan pembayaran untuk rekening listrik. Nah, rekening listrik. Nah. The West Bank requires workers, so it also creates job opportunities for individuals in the community. Communities also benefit directly from the West Bank, and the money from the West Bank is sometimes used to pay for community improvements, community events, or even outing of the members. Itu, uh, kalau di warganya bagi warganya sendiri itu macam-macam ada yang dijadikan misalnya itu jadi dana pembangunan kampungnya ada yang dijadikan itu iuran koperasi ada yang dijadikan itu uh, pendanaan buat event mereka and beyond these direct economic benefits communities become cleaner and individual develop deeper awareness of the issue of waste and the need for them to participate in the proper management of waste for the improvement of their community. For individuals, um, it will improve their uh, environmental awareness and the waste uh, within the house can be reduced and can be recycled. Ya memang saya senang Pak, walaupun di jalanan sudah tidak ada bersih sampah itu. Tidak pernah ada kececeran seperti botol, gelas aqua, itu sini tidak ada. Bersih semua. Sampai tukang pengulung itu tidak pernah nemui sama botol, apa gelas. Itu orang di rumah. Kadang-kadang ibu seperti ibu sini tidak mau nimbang dikasihkan saya gitu loh, Pak. Gitu. Jadi tidak keleleran dibuang ke sampah. The West Bank also strengthens social capital by providing a space for community members to meet and work together for the common good. Ya, kita kalau ada bank sampah semua guyup, ngumpul gitu Pak. Terus yang menyediakan kue, minum ini ya Bu Parmi itu yang ngambil hasilnya bank sampah. Women's participation is reported as high as 75% in the West Bank Initiative program. These West Banks are mainly women-owned and operated, as clients tend to be women who collect and sell household recyclables for the in-kind or cash benefits. However, the share of male-owned junk shops and West Banks is still significantly high in Indonesia at 83.3%. This brings us to the end of this video lesson, where you learn about the West Bank's history and its many benefits for individuals, communities, and cities. Let's go to the next lesson, where you will learn how the West Bank works.